Hi, I'm Tom Stewart with Cleaning Business Today. In the last month's magazine, we did an article on pay-per-click where we talked about how you can take your cost per click and how you can translate it into your cost for a reoccurring client. We're going to show you how we did that calculation here. And in the magazine, the example, one of the examples we used was we started off with a cost of $2.68. We need to know our conversion rates, and we've got KPI tips in our library that show how to do this, where if we have a conversion rate of, say, 5% between click to lead, and after they become a lead, say, half of those become clients, and out of those, maybe half of those become regular reoccurring clients, we can just plug those percentages in here. The calculation is pretty straightforward. We take our cost and just divide it by the conversion rate. In this case, uh, $53 is what we're paying for a lead, and I'm going to drag this all the way down, where uh, $107 is what we're paying for a client, and $214 for a regular reoccurring client. Once we have this number, we can start looking at our processes to figure out if we can improve our initial sales rate from, say, 50% to, say, 60%. We'll see our sales, uh, our cost for a reoccurring client will drop. Likewise, we can figure out how much if our cost per click goes up. And again, in the magazine, we use another example where it's $17.87. Then the cost per reoccurring client goes up quite a bit. In our next KPI tip, we're going to show how to take these numbers and calculate our break-even point and our total net off of a client, backing out our direct cost plus our marketing cost. We hope you found this KPI tip helpful. Thank you for watching Cleaning Business today.